Oh my goodness, we've got a great show coming up for you on the Dirt Shed. We've got competition Sweet. winners. We've got Blake being on <laughs> Samson back. I'm Doggy's back. here with news. What else we've got, Blake? We've got Instabangers, viewer edits, hacks and bodgers. It's the Dirt Shed Show. Let's do it. Well, that was a high energy uh, start, Blake. Is, I yeah. don't know if we can sustain that. Well, I don't know. Let's try. Let's try our best. And we're going to start this week by talking about our topic because this is coming from, you've just come back yes. from nine nights. I you've have. had an amazing week. Loved this it. is your favorite way to ride. It is, yeah. Doing yeah. big jumps, doing tricks, riding with my mates, oh. having a blast, capturing the whole thing yes. in video and photos. But behind the scenes, there's a whole mountain. After this is all done, I get to shred down this mountain. Yeah, yeah. I mean, it's, so your, it's, it's your favorite way to ride in the sense that you like the terrain. Yes. You like the setup, but you also like that kind of time to be at a venue for a week yeah. with your mates. I actually renamed it Nine Mates while you're away. <laughs> that was good. To that me, it just looked, it like, you, looked yeah. like you were just having a great them, time. Yeah. And I've got to be honest, I was ever so jealous. It's hard for me to say that out loud. But it looked really... Jack was jealous too. It's one of those amazing events that just looks so much fun. It now, is. I've got to say, I, I think I'd like to do it that way. But my favourite... I've just come back from Whistler recently from our trip. Mm -hmm. Now, I've got to say, going away to a bike park, yeah. I think... That is my favourite way to ride right now. I, it? I, I don't think I've had yep. more fun on a bike yep. than that week. Well, I, so I, I would find it like, bikes, eh? Yeah, but we want to know this week, what is your favourite way to ride? So mm. are you a one day man, woman, or do you go to comps? Is that yeah. where you are? Race yeah. days? Race days. Bike packing? Race. Yeah. You know, some bike people are in packing. bike packing. That would be a good one. What about a sort of Euro tour, doing the oh, Alps? Oh, yes. You know? Or going around America, Get wherever it. you Get are. Get where I'm going. I want to know, what is your favourite way to ride? And you know what I think we can do with this? Oh, <laughs> is that? I think we can do a poll yes, right above Blake's head oh. there. Watch out. So, do you ride a bike park? Um, are you just a local rider? That's mm. his second option. Bike packing. Mm. Maybe that's for Ooh, you. I actually, yeah. Now, what about just a visit to your bike shop? A lot of people just like to go I to their that. bike shop. I do that and make them tea. That's a good option. White mountain. Um, and what about uh, a trip? They're your options. Um, good luck with the poll. Mm -hmm. um, if we haven't covered your option, then maybe let us know in the comment section down below. What is your favorite way to ride? Could be racing. That it could, could be, be racing. Poll. Put it there. Put it there. Let us know. Now, let's get to some serious stuff here. It's time for the Neil with news. Wait a minute. There's no Neil. With Doddy Newsahue. <laughs> that works. No. No. <laughs> That's right, yeah. Neil is not here in the dirt shed this week with us. He's actually uh, sunning himself. I'm not sure where he is, but I'm sure he's topping up on his tan very well. So, to the news, it's a Red Bull Hardline coming up this weekend. And Hardline, as the name suggests, is an incredibly hard downhill race. And of course, it's been built by Dan Atherton to be an absolute showcase of what can be done on a mountain bike. And uh, who can we send along? We're sending Blake. So keep tuned for that and see what Blake gets up to at that incredibly gnarly event. And speaking of gnarly Red Bull events, Red Bull Rampage is also coming up on us. Of course, that's not until next month, but we just found out the sad news that Aggies actually had to pull out the event long before it's even getting there. So back in the year, so in April earlier this year, he actually really damaged his ankle. And it kind of goes, goes to show how hard these guys are pushing themselves when He's still got a month to go where he could sort of ride, but he's actually going to wave the white flag and not do it. So smart choice by Aggie there, so get well, dude. So new out is a brand new app from Loic Bruni and his friends, and it's called Raw, and that stands for Race Against the World. So think of a Strava type sort of social cycling app, and it's along those lines, really. So it's got a bunch of courses mapped out in it. Some of those are Whistler Bike Park. Some of those are World Cup downhill tracks, and you can test your abilities against the best of the best. So quite a cool concept there. But is it too much like Strava? What do you guys think? Download it and have a look at this thing. So some exciting UCI World Cup news coming for the 2018 season is XC has got a new race format in addition to the already popular XCO. So XCC is this new format, and it's a short course, 20 minute race, essentially a sprint designed purely for spectators and TV to get the maximum out of these riders. But the coolest thing about it is the top 16 finishers, those guys will get the choice of the first two rows in the XCO race. So you can expect major carnage and all sorts of battling. Can't wait for that season next year. And last but not least, of course, it's Friday right now, Dirt Shed Show Day. What's coming on Sunday? Martin Ashton's video riding in Whistler. Make sure you tune in. That thing is an emotional roller coaster. 
Make sure you watch it. Thanks, Doddy. Good Cheers. job. Cheers, Doddy. Here's some big shoes to fill with Neil. Yeah, that. you did well. You did yeah. well. Okay. Right, we're going to take a look at what you guys have been saying on the channel this week in the comment section. Been so, very are you busy. Ready, ready for some of this bing bong? Talking a lot, yes. All go right, for it. then. Here we go. Um, Just Listening says, I have a Canyon Sender CF that oh. I actually have in my house. He appreciates some people can't keep their bikes in their house to keep them safe, mm -hmm. but it's probably the safest place. It is. So, talking about safety last week, that's a great suggestion. And you know what that means as well, is you can have your bike just in the living room, you mm -hmm. can be watching the telly, <sighs> and when you get bored of like the soap operas that you go What's through going to make on you watch, TV? you can just look at your bike. That and let work. your mind run away with you. Yeah, I've done that in the past. I've done that, yeah. yeah, yeah. Um, Ryan Fitzpatrick says, I've actually come back to my bike whilst on his lunch break, and someone was trying to hacksaw the chain. No way. Um, yeah, Look at that for and, timing. Uh, thank goodness he said the hip lock chains are so bulky you couldn't get through it. He caught the man red-handed. What yeah. would you do, Blake, if you caught someone trying to steal your bike? I'd rugby tackle him to the ground. Ooh, and he's got a hard rugby tackle. I should know. Oh, yeah, you knew, yeah. Yeah, I should know. Right. <laughs> Cameron Anderson says, What happened to the games of bike? Please bring them back. Don't worry. Oh, don't worry. They're coming. Don't worry. We're We've just, been everywhere, so we're not We should have a though. game of bike soon. <gasps> yes. Yes. We We're... tried to have a game of bike in Whistler, but I wasn't very good. <laughs> no, no, never mind. Um, Colby Aunt says, I ride a 1988 road bike to work and no one has ever tried nice. to steal it. Hipster. That's probably, that's a good thing. I've I don't seen, know if I've it's seen, a good thing or I've not. I've seen people paint their bikes so make them look ratty I'm, and people won't steal them. I'm not sure what people Colby's saying there. Is he saying that people don't nick road bikes? They're boring. <laughs> yeah, I get that. He could be saying Probably. that. He could be saying that. I'm just saying that's what he could be saying. I'm not saying that. Right, let's well, move that's on. Just, that's just good. Michael Sawowski says, what is the point of the world champs? Wait, what is the point of the world champs? Uh, it's just another race. Um, um, the winner of the World Cup is the world champ. Um, can anyone the... explain what is the point in the world champs? Well, I know I can explain it. Please. Well, the point in the world champs, right, mm -hmm. is it, it's a one-hit wonder. It's lay everything down. You know that you don't need to stay in one piece mm. because there's no round coming up in the next thing. You've got to give it all in the world champs. Now, in the World Cup, you win that it's in a, a certain way. There's is no um, mistake, right, or surprise that someone like Greg Minar has won the World yeah. Cup so many times because he's calculated. It's points. Yeah. It's he's like he knows how to do it. It's consistency, right? I mean, he, Greg's won World Champs too, but maybe I've used the wrong guy there because he's just blooming brilliant. <laughs> but World Champs is the race. World Cup, you know, that's the championship. Yeah. So there you go. I've explained it. I've explained it. There you go. Right, Chris um, Kokalis. I thought it was going to say Chris Kavarik then. Whoa, Wouldn't that be amazing? amazing? Wouldn't that be amazing if Chris, Chris, if you're out there and you're not being cool in Whistler, send us a text. <laughs> um, Chris Kokalis says, it's really funny how Neil hates Hacks and Bodges' song and never sings it. Yeah. Would we well, say it's funny? I don't think it's funny. Nice. Should we have a little rendition now? Three, one, one. two, one. Hacks and Bodges. Hacks and Bodges. Hags and bodges, 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 yes! Well done, Jack. Well done. All right, that's enough comments for this week. Yep. Blake, what's your favourite part of the show? Be honest. First try Friday, progression session as well. Well, you're lucky because that's what's coming up. Oh, come on. Let's do it. Fire away. First one is his progression session. Is from Torben Bax. Pechler. I'm I glad hope you I said, said that it because I wouldn't. Bax Pechler. Um, and here he goes, right? A little bit of oh, jump progression. This, yeah. Now he does really well on this because his first jump, I'm going to be honest, ain't great. Okay. But second one, definitely get it sorted, okay? Oh, okay. It doesn't really Does go that, for yeah. it. Doesn't no, really it doesn't really go. Second jump. Oh, he went for it. No, it's good. That That's was good. really good. good. Let's good watch progression. it. Let's watch it one more time. Let's see now, the first one. Look Let's... at his first one, look. I mean, what's he got? Halfway across that? Yeah. Not even halfway. No, not even. But Torben, second go, coming in. Yeah. It's actually pretty right. good height. Yeah. Pretty he good height. He does clear it, doesn't he? Okay. Done that. well. well done. done well, Torben. Well done. Right, okay. Next one is a first try Friday. Ooh. Now, get your... Don't throw it yet. Hold it there. Jack Green. Short and sweet, didn't tell us much, but basically is trying to drop um, in Farleton, not in Cumbria. Okay. 
Doing okay, a drop. Here he goes, oh, doing a drop. Big rock drop now, thing. Now, he, he comes into shot, so you have to be really quick here. Okay. So here he comes. It's quite a big drop. Look at the size of the drop. Oh, well, yeah, it is pretty big, isn't it? And like... he's tried this quite a few times. Is but he? this time, look, boom. Whoa, that was put into a we, we get the first try, but it wasn't the first try. Uh, see see what you've done there? But we, we did specify that, didn't we? Well, it doesn't have to be the first try. We just want to see those original goes. Exactly. And we've got it there. Go on, Blake, yeah. give him it. Love it, love it. Now, we love seeing your progression sessions. I particularly love progression sessions. I love first try Because I feel like we get a little bit more. Um, Blake loves the first try Fridays. Send them in. As everything you need to know is just there. And we will have a look at your vids. And maybe you'll make it into the show. Could yes. do it. Could happen. Yeah, could happen. Happen to him. Look where he is now. Yeah, right. Uh, Blake, you've seen Doddy anywhere? I have not, no. Nope. Mm -mm. No. Nope. As a trick question, I actually knew he wasn't here. He's only gone and seen some new bike tech no at way. the cycle show in the UK. Another cycle show. Checking out lots of nice stuff. Let's have a look what he's got. So I'm just at the NEC bike show checking out some of the new stuff here. And some of the coolest things I've seen is the new nuke proof bikes. And as well as the new carbon model, they've got new alloy models too, and they've got brand new geometry on those. So, as I explained before on the Whistler video with the carbon fibre 27 and a half, the 29ers have got improved reach and length on them. So in particular, if you look at this one here, it's got the new sort of metric system shock on this. And it's really cool, it's got a bearing on the linkage end, so that means that it's super supple. And interestingly, the geometry on these is really, really lengthened as well. So on the large and XL bikes, the reach is quite a lot longer. Uh, the XL is what I normally ride in the Nuke Proof Mega 290, and it's normally a 480 reach, so it's up to 515 now. And previously I've been running a 50mm stem, and it's just a tiny bit on the short side for me, so being able to take that back probably to about a 40mm stem, even a 35. Loads more control, and you've got a longer bike. I'm so into that. And some of the new colourway choices on these are absolutely fantastic. They've also got really cool hardtails, which is called a Scout. And the Scout comes in either 29 inch versions or 27 and a half inch. Check these bad boys out. So this is the 29 inch version of the Scout here, and that's what I bite off previously ridden. Look at the colour of this thing, it's unreal. You can see the pack here, you've got a black version with 2.6 and 27 5 inch wheels. That was only 850 quid in the UK, so it's a bit of a bargain. This is black bad boy here that really takes my fancy. But this one's got a 27.5 inch wheel, so I reckon I have to hold out for 29 because I'm definitely into the wagon wheel thing. Check the colour of these out. What do you reckon? Would you say that's John Deere special? I reckon that's got Blake's name written all over it. Just about as colourful as he is. Pretty sick selection and coming here from Luke Proof at the NEC show. Back to you guys. Hacks and bodges. 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 Hands up. Wow, okay. we've got the this song. Week, you know what? We have seen? got some Neil's not yet. great hacks and bodges. What's that? Neil's not here. We can sing it. Yeah, we're allowed to do whatever we want when oh, Neil's exactly. not here. He can't stop no, us. Yeah. Okay, our first uh, hack and bodge. You're going to oh, like this, Blake. You're like this. <laughs> Daniel <laughs> Hurst. Daniel Hurst. What has he done there with zip ties? You can just say. What he's, he's made a, a necklace. No, it's not a necklace. He's... Come on, you should know what this is. That's a chesty, isn't it? It's a chesty. He's, he's made, made a himself chesty. a GoPro chesty out of zip ties alone. How well, good is that? Well, that is Daniel Hurst and David Smalley. Well done. Is it stable? I want to see the footage from that. I would like to see some footage from it. It looks like you could have done a back view as well with the other photo. Yeah. Very, very good. I see he's improvised very everything good. there. Good Right, work. next well one I think you're really going to enjoy, Blake. Look at this. Oh, look at, look at that. We don't view. even have a GMBN helmet. Rob DeBorn, you have gone out of your way wow. to do a spray job on your helmet. He's only done GMBN. Yeah. Look at that. I really like the other side though, where he's used a chain ring as a stencil and just sprayed over it and left a kind of chain ring stencil on the other side. That's very cool. We... Um, I do love seeing, I do love seeing spray jobs. Now, mm. if you've got a spray job, make sure you send them into Hacks and Bodges because Please. this is one of my favourite things. I think this every helmet, bodge. I think every helmet should have a spray job on it. I, I think, think that so should be too. a rule. Yeah, yeah. Should we make that a rule? I don't know if we can make. I don't know. If it's quite big. Jack's shaking. It's a big ass. I don't Jack didn't make that one, did he? No. no, good job though, Rob. That's a good job. Well, well done, done, Rob. Well good done. Job. Um, a plus for that. This one, Jerome Moldon. Is he going diving? No, he's not going diving. He's not going diving. I can see why you've made that mistake. Um, it looks like no, a breathing tank. He's a, he's a tubeless inflator. Oh he's, no he's way! Made wow. himself. Yeah. It can go up to. 140 psi. You can get out of that. Why? Well, you can get in that little two-liter. Pump it in there. Plug it on your tire. 
Ooh. Whoa. Amazing. That is a hack. I always think these things look a bit dangerous though. Do you think? Dealing with pressure is quite, quite yeah. but no, but these things, these, these little um, pesticide sprayer things can take up. Because you have to pump them up to spray yeah, liquid yeah. everywhere. So they can take It's kind of designed for it. It's a, it good, is, it's yeah. a good hack. It's a hack. It's a hack for it's sure. A hack. Well done. There's no it's... hacks. No bodges this week. No, there wasn't one bodge. Wow. Well, I wonder bodges. if that's happened before. Please keep sending yeah, them. Round of applause there. Yeah. Good job, Edit. Um, yeah, right. We want to see your hacks and bodges in the future. Um, Blake, where do they send them? You send them to dirtshed at gmbn.com. Yes. We love to see them. Send them in. We really do. In. Actually, yeah. we like them a bit we too do. much. <laughs> we do. Yeah, so send them in. I think you and I like them. Yeah, a lot. The best. Yeah. The most. The most is. Mm -hmm. Okay, caption contest time. If you remember, last week's photo was this amazing shot of Blake giving me a right old oh, slug in the jaw. You deserved it. I don't think I did. No, I don't think I did. But anyway, you took a joke too far. <laughs> <laughs> I'm over it. Oh, yeah. Right, okay, so let's see what captions we got for that. Now, my Gatron, now you're going to choose the winner, Blake. Okay. And I think you're going to give the winner... This. Uh, yes, a water bowl. You're going to get a GMBM water bowl. GMBM water bowl. Not okay, one. first one is from my Gatron. Um, this is for making me eat that damn onion. Remember? Oh, yes! I made you eat that onion that time. There was your idea. So I, don't think, I don't think that one's going to win. No. No. no good I try, my Gatron. Um, Bike MTB says, what did you say about my edit? <laughs> Oh, that's a, yeah. You did do a good edit. I did. Nine nights was great. So that's not it. Uh, Tom Grundy did a good edit. He was just he in it. He was just in it. To be fair, okay. he was just in it. Okay. Tom Grundy did it. You know what I mean? Yeah. 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 Ollie Cook. Um, he says when Martin starts singing hacks and bodges at three a.m. I'll be joining in. So that one doesn't yeah, win. And, and do you know what? That also makes us sound like some sort of Morecambe and Wise duo who sleep <laughs> in the same bed. That's true. Oh. I would. I snapped that next to you. Yeah, I think we've done it. I think we have. In a nice way. Yeah. Let's not go anywhere further. Yeah, yeah. Luke Daniel says uh, that's another way to use the punch technique. That's a good one. Get it? Because the trial oh, punch. Oh yes. Doop, like that. Yes. And you were like, mm -hmm. oh, do a punch technique. Whack. <laughs> yeah. In the face. Yeah. That's leading. It is leading. All right. Don Don's vid company says when a gamer bike gets heated. <laughs> That's a good There's one. There's a lot of options this week. But that's not very sportsman like that last one. No, it's not very you. I think it's the punch you. you're one. A good, you're a good sportsman. I think the punch one I've wins. got one more. Oh. I've got one more. And I think this could didn't, be the winner. And I think a one. lot of people out there would be happy that I got a punch for this. Okay. <laughs> I think you can probably guess it. It is Henrik Wist. I mean, Martin gets what he deserves for wearing that damn hat and the bike. Yes! Ball. He wins. Winner. Winner. You win. Henrik Wist, you are a winner. You get a... It's a GMBM bottle, a little bit like that one. A bit like this one, but not this one. Yeah, it, well, it looks it looks like this one, but it won't do that. It won't have the uh, new bike vault. Congrats. <gasps> Congrats to you, Henrik. Good job. Right, it's time to get into fails and bells. Oof. But let's see, before we start, can we find a Doddy anywhere? Should we find him? Let's get him. Let's get him. He's got to be back from that show by now. <laughs> fails and bells and Doddy's made it. Hey, Here back. he is. How was it? Yeah, it was good. It was Looked good. good. Yeah. Popular show. Busy. Looked good. Yeah, fairly busy. Yeah, yeah. yeah. It was a good love, show. Love seeing yeah, this. Plenty of nice new tech there. Yeah, Ooh. good stuff. Good stuff. Right, let's keep the energy up with the show this week. Uh, fails and bells. Now, this is your chance to send in your mistakes, the bits that have gone wrong. Uh -huh. We yeah. can take a look, have a bit of a laugh, and of course, you might feature in the show, but you've got a chance of featuring in our monthly show where we pick some of the best fails and bells of the month and you get a chance to win some 661 protection. <laughs> so make sure yeah. you send in your fails and bells. Let's take a look at this week. First one is Jared Nolan and his mates, uh, Brett and Dave in Dublin. You're gonna like this one, guys, this is funny. Have a look at this, go on here, uh, Doddy. Oh, he's doing this. Here we go. It's nice little nice. start to a ride. It all looks plain sailing, doesn't it? Yeah. Like Dropping this. into like the trail. Oh, 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 just skinny. 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 No little boys, that. this is just cool. Little oh, oh. Watch out, watch out. Oh. Watch out. Super oh. slippery. <laughs> <laughs> That's a slippery, double slippery lock. Double trouble there. I quite oh, like that. Oh, right, oh, this week, um, that, was a good, that was a good one to start with. Now, I always like to see someone getting bucked because it's a bit one of my oh, specialities. Oh, yeah, oh, yeah. buckaroo. Yeah, um, So, here is our this week's totally bucked from Ian Stopford. Um, this is scary. Have a look at this, but it definitely is. Oh, look at the thumbnail! Oh, oh my god, look at it! Totally bucked. 
Boom! Ready? Oh, 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 oh my god! Oh my god! god. Out the front oh door! Oh my god! <laughs> that is a oh, huge nice bus. Ian, that was a fantastic wow. video. Keep yours coming. We love seeing them. Um, what should we do now, lads? Run, VT! Bangers! Ooh, Shout wait. out! Go on, who's going first? Well, I'm going to throw two. Oh, oh, all right, sorry. Well, I'm gonna th this guy's really cool. <laughs> this guy's Marcus Fish, oh, yeah. nicknamed Fishy, works for a good company, Action Sports Camera GoPro, and he helped me snap my rad photo at nine nights. Yeah, you uh, deserve, he deserves yeah. some props from he you does. because you, uh, you've he got a proper result there. Yeah, 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 yeah nice. Yeah. There's nice. a mint picture. Mm. Yeah, what about you, Doddy? I want to throw to Darcy hennessy Turen. So she's an ex sort of free rider and she's been making this really cool film called The Moment. So it went up Ooh. on Kickstarter oh. and there's a trailer for it on Vimeo. Yes. Check it out. It's so cool and it's about how the Canadian movement sort of kicked mm. off. Yes. That's yes. going to be amazing when that comes out. We'll Definitely it worth it. Um, I've got another Instabanger to throw to actually Ooh. called uh, Ride Cake. It's a bit cryptic at this moment, but they've got a great product coming out mm. later in the year that I think is really exciting. Mm. Uh, yeah, a bit of fun. Now I'm going to throw two shout out to Nine Eyes Contest video. So it's the whole week. It's a lot of big bang has been thrown about on this video. So go and check that out as well. Doddy, what is the best party ever? Oh, it's a bite for a party. Correct. Let's get straight. Ain't no party like a bite for party. It is. <laughs> there really isn't. Right, let's get straight into the bite for No improved horn. It's not unlocking yeah. as quick as it should, but here we go. I think because it knows that you're wearing something yeah. on your head. It makes a horn back. Oh, it was waiting for me to take my yes, hat off. That's what it was. Thank you, Blake. Because I'd have been I getting another punch. Yeah, yeah. Right, yes. bite roll. Here we go. First one is from RG Barbarus. Oh, look at that. That's nice. Oh, that is a trick. Nice. Mm. What is that bike? I'm not sure. I don't recognise it. No. Is it specialised? No. Don't know. No, it's I'm nice though. Sure. Like the colour. Yeah. Stripe side. Hey, what are you giving it, Doddy? He's holding his bike up with his pump. Oh, that's yeah, clever. That's nice. That's clever. That's clever. Yeah. 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 Yeah, yeah, I'll give him a super nice score. <laughs> super nice. Yeah, I spotted super that. Super nice. Okay. No hats in a bike for Mark. Oh, yeah. Oh, Sorry, I put it back on by habit. Yeah. I can't Look help it. Look at that. Oh, Christopher Bolton's. Is it a hardtail time? Look yeah. at that. Do you know those bikes were named after an Austrian monkey who was addicted to cigarettes and alcohol? Oh, no way. No. Yeah. That's a shame. Honzo. That's a shame. Yeah. Let's oh, give them a nice. super nice. Because yeah. yeah. of the... Because of the monkey. Okay. Jack Cottrell. Oh, look at that Michigan. cabin. The, I tell you what, I that cabin looks like a horror film. Cabin in the woods? Yeah. 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 Oh, yeah. I, I think it's that. nice. I think That's we should nice. move on with I'm a scared nice. of that cabin. Looks good. Ooh, Ooh. Ooh. James Defcon. Oh, oh, James Defcon. Yeah. Oh, that's a bit of a super nice to me. Super nice. I think. Yeah. 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 Is it? Yeah, yeah, Jamis. yeah, yeah. 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 What okay. is it? A Jamis? Jamis. Jamis. Su nice or? Super nice. <laughs> I like what he's done in his bottle cage. He put his inning tube and his tie levers. Clever. Nice, clever. Matt Walters. Ooh. Oh, that's, that's an old nice. G it's in GT, isn't it? New with New Zealand. You could like your one, two, bit, three. Triangle? It's not in the best ride. Triple triangle, yeah. Yeah, yeah. It's a GT, nice. Yeah. nice. 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 There's a matey now, in the shop. There's a story to this. This is really clever. This is from Sarah Bettman. Right. This is her boyfriend yeah. trying to get a super nice. <laughs> now see what she's done from there. Now, the view is spectacular. The bike's definitely nice. Nice little Why is he trek. taking a picture of the rear end He's of He's trying to bike. get a good angle. He's trying but to get a good angle. The view's that way, obviously. Look, give the dude a super nice. Well, well done. done. Yeah. Well, done. Yeah, well done, Sarah. You've well done, done well there for your man. Um, Sean Ooh. McLean. He says, this must be one of the first new aluminium nomads on the channel so far. Yeah, that is. Um, well, well, yeah, 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 look at that. Things, you know? Yeah. Super, super nice. Super nice. Super nice. Oh, yeah. Ooh, Andre, yeah. Nice position. No, it's Cannondale. Cannondale. Sorry. Yeah. It's a Cannondale from Seth Hanchett. Like you know what? Yeah. Seth was on Pin the Trail way back. Way was back. He? Was he? Yes. Was he? And I think for putting in another bit of content, he should definitely get super nice. Oh, good man. Go there you go. The horn's working well. Oh, yeah. Ooh. Trail dog. Got a dog Trail dog. dog. Oh. Oh. Vince Elliott, we're giving him a super, super nice. nice.
Uh, William Lundy. God, that's pretty rough where that is. That yes. Guys, volcanic looks area. Hot. Looks like. What is that? Is that a dam or a bridge or something? I don't know. I don't know what what are we giving that by? Nice. 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 I like that little word. Uh, is that a GCN bit? bottle? No. Is that a GCN bottle? It could be. It that, could well be a GCN no. bottle. No. Well, if it's GCN bottle, they swings I mean, both ways, I they guess. are our Road sister part. They are our sister channel. Yeah. See what I did there. Did you give yeah. your sister a super nice? Oh, that's weird, dude. <laughs> <laughs> that's, that's, a weird. that's nice. It's nice. <laughs> <laughs> it's nice, and we're it's... out of the oh, oh, damn. We ended, on, we ended on a weird one there. <laughs> it was good, though. I enjoyed well it. Right, it's time to take a look at who won this week's competition. Now, you boys are going to be jealous because they were winning. Whoever won this was winning. Don't tell me. Park Tools. <gasps> tools. Oh, well, that big black oh, box oh, of goodness. Yeah, yeah. No we all want it. Way. Right, now, oh, your name's about roll. to come up on the screen. Start to get excited because you have won. If your name comes up now, you've won the Park Tools toolkit. Here it is, Greg, you're a winner. Wow, well done. Wow. Congratulations. We're sort of packing what we don't mean. Um, yeah, I don't I mean it at all. No, 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 quite no, no, I don't mean it. I Congratulations, mean it. mate. Well, well done. done. Well done, well done. Well done for entering all you guys, but Greg got it. Never mind, none of us. Thanks for watching. Coming up on the channel this week, we have got a banging week for you. Yes. A really, really good one. I'm excited about it. Sunday. Mm. Oh, you went to Whistler? Yeah, who uh, went to Whistler? We went to Whistler <laughs> on Sunday. I have got a treat for you. We've got a story all about that. Me going to Whistler and having an amazing time. I yes. can't wait to show you it. I really hope you love it. And on Monday, it's top five shifting problems. And then Tuesday, it's 10 top tools to make your life easier. Yeah. Oh, and Wednesday we've got how to ride dusty trails. Oof. And of course on Thursday it's Ask GMBN. Yes, and then Friday we will be back yeah. in the shed. Oh, yeah. We will see you then. Thanks for watching. It's been a banger of a show. I loved it's it. It's been amazing. Yes. But if you want to see more videos, click down here where I go to nine nights and do the whole thing in a whole week. Check that out. It's wicked. Oh, and if you want to see the bike that came sixth at the World Champs and also was used to EWS, he's run like winning it at the moment. Check out Samuel's Pro Bike right down here. What? Yeah, it's a very special bike. Oh, yeah. And you can click on the globe just here to subscribe, of course, to GMBN. And please don't forget to give us a thumbs up like.